All right, everyone. Yesterday, the St. Louis Cardinals were able to hand Cincinnati Reds their first loss. So today, they needed some extra effort. The car is looking to take the series. Bottom two, it's Jay Bruce from the Reds. He gets a hold of this one, and he sends it over the center field wall for the solo shot. Reds up one nothing. Top of the fifth it is Matt Carpenter. He gets a single to right field. Molina and Colton Wong will both score. More from Carp a little bit later. Top of the eighth, here's Johnny. Johnny Peralta, that is. And he goes yard with a two-run home run. Tying the game at five. We're heading to extras, folks. Top of the 11th, it's that Carpenter guy again, and he goes yard. This time, this is a two-run shot over center field, gone. Cards up 7-5, that would seal the deal. They win it, taking the series 7-5. to five. The final round of the Masters was today, and could Jordan Spieth keep up his record pace? To Augusta, in the final round, so many people vying for that green jacket. Rory McIlroy was in the mix. Tiger Woods took a step back today, but he sinks this eagle. So the best could be yet to come from him. He would finish at five under par. And to the 13th, it's Phil Mickelson. The lefty makes birdie put. He would finish at 13 under. And everyone's still chasing this guy. The native Texan had himself a tournament. Check out this shot as he gets a couple of feet away from the hole. He actually would make bogey on this putt, but that's like one of the few things that went wrong. He would sink this putt to win the tournament. Congratulations to Jordan Speed on winning the Masters. The St. Louis Blues, they handled business on the ice yesterday. Now it's time for the second season. Last night, the Sky Trace Center, the Blues defeated the Minnesota Wild 4-2 to two to clinch the central division. They got huge gains from Dmitry Yashkin right here as he scored. Vladimir Tarasenko, who just returned to the lineup. They hope to ride that momentum into the postseason. They play the same Wild team in the playoffs. Game one is set for Tuesday at 7.30 from St. Louis. And also in baseball, Southeast Missouri, they're looking to bounce back, and they do just that, shutting out Eastern Illinois 5 to nothing for their sixth consecutive series win. Simo's softball team, they lose the series finale against Murray State 2 to 1. The search continues for new Simo men's and women's head basketball coaches. We caught up with him yesterday at Cape Splash, along with Senior Associate Director of Athletics Cindy Gannon and other athletic staff members as they participated in volunteer work. All that says that he traveled to both men's and women's Final Four tournaments and has made contact with several candidates in hopes of filling the Red Hawks positions. And here is a look at some of the candidates that he has been in contact with. As mentioned before, he has not made any finalists, but once asked about how the search is going, All Net likes how the proper steps have been taken. Hey, good afternoon, and I'm here in Marion at Renton One Park. I'm Todd, and it deserves an all-star team, and I think we have a good one here right on the hands. So at point guard, we have former racer Isaiah Cannon of the 76ers. The other guard is the first of four Kentucky Wildcats, John Wall of the Washington Wizards. He's joined by former teammate Michael Kidd Gilchrist of the Charlotte Hornets. Former number one overall pick Anthony Davis of the New Orleans Pelicans and former big man DeMarcus Cousins of the Sacramento Kings. This is an all-star team that I would love to see. Just about an hour away from media day actually starting, I'll have word from manager Mike Pinto as they get ready for the season. It's a beautiful day out here for baseball. The first game will start on May 15th and I'll have some sound and uh, more reaction tonight at 6. Live local late breaking, Justin Brown. Heartland Sports. The Dallas Cowboys proved that the regular season is over and now it's on to bigger and better things. The Cowboys could not overcome four early first half turnovers as the San Francisco 49ers defeated the Cowboys 28 to 17. Tony Romo and his team is expected a much different start to 2014. We never planned to be down 23 at halftime and um, you know we know we have a very good team so um, you know we didn't play to the, the standard that we have set for us so um, like I said we're gonna go back to the drawing board and um, you know go back to work. This is always tough. It's tough uh, for you know any team you know, um, to go down the way that we did. You know like I said we stayed together you know the whole time and we fought. We fought. Um, and that's what that's exactly what we're gonna continue to keep doing. Despite three first-half interceptions by Tony Romo, he still has support from his teammates and their confidence. Every quarterback's not going to have a great game, you know, and unfortunately today wasn't a great game for him. But, you know, Tony's the type of guy that's going to go back, watch film, you know, and correct himself and, and you know, and get back on uh, Monday, Tuesday, whenever we get back into work, you know, and, and fire his team back up. We know what type of quarterback he is. And, uh, 
you know, he's his own worst critic, you know, and so uh, he's trying to create and make plays and give them credit. They, they made some big plays on the ball, so um, yeah, he'll bounce back. He's got everybody's full support. He's the leader of this football team. The Cowboys look to rebound next week as they travel to Tennessee to face the Titans. In AT&T Stadium, I'm Justin Brown, East Texas Sports.